Hi, this is George from Digital High Road. In today's video, I want to cover a plugin called Yoast Duplicate Post and then how you can get it and how you can use it. And we want to cover that in detail for you coming up and we'll look at where you can go to get it. At the end of this video, if there is anything that you liked about it, please give us a large thumbs up. And also, if you have any comments about Anything to do with building a website, doing a blog, making money online, please leave it. And then also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate that. And hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I publish a new video to our channel. So let's move on into today's Yoast duplicate post and how to use it on your website. Okay, so the purpose of my channel is to help you the inexperienced uh, newbie, senior, baby boomer, blogger, person who doesn't know their way around the computer. A plugin is a shortcut to do something, provides you a service or something that will help you out to do a job that you don't want to have to do, either you don't know how to do it, or it saves you time. Now, I have a lot of plugins in on this site because this is my test site. Each one of these plugins has, I, I use a Genesis theme. Each one of these Genesis plugins has a specific a tool activity that it provides the Genesis theme so that the Gen Genesis site looks the way it does. What we're going to do today is we're just putting in and using the Yoast Duplicate Post plugin as a way to save you some time and headaches when you want to edit a post. And that's what the purpose of this video is to show you like if I'm going to edit this post here, it would have to be a post that's already been published. I'm just going to show you we're going to add some sentences in here, down here, and how the too young, how young is too young. I'm going to show you how that works to save you time and headaches. It's like a shortcut or what they call it today, a hack to make it easier so that you don't ruin your site, what people are looking at. You can do this behind the scenes. And that's the purpose of the plugin. So we're going to take a further look at the Yoast Duplicate Post plugin, which I'll have the link for in down in the description. This is a free plugin, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use this plugin. And that's the purpose for the plugin. So what we're talking about today is specifically is using the Yoast Duplicate Post plugin for editing and enhancing your SEO on your blog pages. Now, I'll be very honest with you. I just found out about this. Looks like there's already 3 million users in Yoast when you go into the plugin page. You see there's 3 million plus right here. So that means that as usual, as an older person, I'm behind the curve, but I would be using this if I was working on a blog right now to duplicate my pages because what I'm going to do is go through and show you how easy it is to use this plugin and how I would use it moving forward with my blog page. So what we're going to do then is go to my one of my sites. So now once you've um, uploaded the plugin into your site, and we're going to look at where the settings are. And the settings are here under duplicate post. And then we're going to go in, we're going to look at duplicate posts. And we're going to go in here and we're going to change, we're going to add a couple things in here. There's one thing and I added the date as well. Come down here and we're going to save it. Now these are the changes. This will be what we copied. Now we're going to go to post because you're going to clone or duplicate the post. Now we only want, it only works with published post. Now there's two ways you can access the plugin. One is through this right here. Rewrite and publish. And then what's going to happen is I'll give you now this is a clone page. This is not the normal page for this. So this is a clone you can work on. It will not affect the page that's on the being shown to the public right now. Now the other way to access it is it will go back here and you're back to these published pages again and let's pick another one we'll just click on this right here now notice up here now there's up here there's a duplicate post and you go copy to new draft or rewrite 
and republish. So we're going to click on rewrite and publish. Now this is a clone for that page and we can go in and edit it. That's the two ways that you can enter into the using the plugin Yoast Duplicate Post. Okay. Now I'm going to go here. This is the page I was going to use, but we'll reload this. We're going to go back here and we'll find the post I'm on. You know, it's under all posts, but you have to look for under published posts because this is a published post. Okay, this is the post we're going to add content to. And we're going to use the Yoast Duplicate Page plugin to do it. I just wanted to show you what I'm going to do is this area here. I'm going to add three more sentences down at the tail end here. And instead of going in here like I would normally do, while this site's live, which is what it is, I would normally go in here and add it. But that often run, you can run into problems with that. Sometimes your browser gets hung up when you're trying to save something that might mess it up. If you're new to using WordPress, this will make it easier. What I'm going to do though is we're going to go back here and we have to find horseback riding lessons. Now you see what this is the plug in here. And we're going to press rewrite and republish. Now this is going to bring up the page right here. Now let's take a look, make sure this is the page. This is the actual normal editor right here. And then now this is the duplicate. And how you can tell is that what we're going to do is two ways to, to access this now. So you can see you can start rewriting and republish up here. So that means you're on the clone now. Now we're going to come down here and I'm going to put in here. I'm going to space this. And then I'm going to add. Now I've got the script over here. This is three more sentences. I'm going to copy and paste these. And they're going to be right in here. I'm going to copy them into here. These have been highlighted. And so this looks, these three sentences here look kind of out of place. Okay, so I'm going to just highlight this. We're going to pause this. We'll come back for what it looks like. Okay, so I've gone through these three sentences. That I've bolded in bold a couple of sentences that points I want to be made. Now here's your added. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare. And then this is going to show us. Now, if you scroll down through, it's going to going to show us right here. This in the green right here is the difference. So I look at it and say, okay, okay, okay. So it looks all right. So I'm going to then return to the editor. Now, what I can do is I can republish this. And that's going to republish the changes. Now, it didn't affect... This isn't, this is the normal editor here. You can see this, it was still live. This is still live here. But what I'm going to do is just going to reload this right here. Okay, so I've just double checked this. This is highlighted where I want it to be. The three sentences have been added. They're highlighted. So we're going to republish and we'll see what it looks like. Let's see if it's here. Okay, now we'll come here and reload this. And there you have it. There's our changes. That's using the plugin. Now we can just close out of this one here. And this will just go back to all posts. Now the thing that the reason this works so well is that it's been my past experience. That when you keep the way I would do it, I keep going through. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to stress the importance of what I normally did. I'm going to show you what I normally did. I'll try to make this as short as possible. How much time and effort and problems you can save if you do use the plugin. So here's what I usually would do. Now here's an article I started already. I'm just going to be changing we're going to change this right here. I want to embolden this and okay, so I'm going to embolden this to here. And then I want to make this as another paragraph. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this bold. 
and then we're going to make this another paragraph. And I've got my TOC. This is a plugin. It's here to set up where the code is. I'm going to make this another paragraph here. And we're going to look for kind of height and um, embolden. And make that bold. Make that bold. And okay. So I've got some changes. You just saw me do the changes. Now what I would normally do is I'm going to go up here. I'm going to save the draft. Now, let's say I get interrupted, I get a phone call, or I have to go eat lunch, whatever, I leave this here. What's happened in the worst sometimes is that sometimes this will spin and spin and spin and spin. Because somehow, because I've done so much stuff on my browser, it gets hung up. And when I get done, I don't know what it saved and what it didn't save. So what I have to do is I have to go then look and find out what version. So I'm going to go as I'm going to do a preview of the post. We'll see what the post looks like. Here it did made this large. So it saved it. And we go back here. It took a little time. I've gone through and right here in WordPress you're going to see revisions three. Now if it hangs up, what you need to do is check on this. Click on this. What it's going to do is going to give you three versions. There's your current revision. You can check. You can want. You can restore the current revision. Or these are the revisions here. Now here's the changes that were made. There's a lot of changes made in green here, which was my last revision. So what you're going to do is you have to decide. This is the current revision. This is the previous revision. Or this is the first revision. So you have to decide which revision you want. Now, when you look at what we did with the clone and the Yoast Duplicate Post plugin, it's much easier. I don't have to figure this out. I did it on the clone page. So if I screwed it up and made a mistake, it also saved me time because I'm, right here I'm dealing with all these revisions on this page, as you can see. Now what I want is I want to restore the, let's go to the next one here. I want the most recent ver version, and I'm already at that, so I'm just going to go to the editor. I don't have to restore anything. Now when I'm here, now what I can do is I always like to go I want to keep track of what it looks like. Now this is what it looked like after we did our first revision. Just notice down through, a lot of clumped, a lot of clump writing here. Nothing black, only one, one image here. Now I'm going to reload this real quick. I'm going to show you what I did through three rev three a series of three revisions basically there's things underlined here there's more stuff there's underlined here i added another image i underlined some stuff did some more content is broken up more so you can see now this this is what i wanted to, to you know understand how much time saving and angst of going back through the revisions on the post here these revisions do count I've had before when I've been building without the post, the Yoast Post plugin, without the Yoast Post plugin, I've had as many as 30 revisions because I keep to make it a change and I keep saving it. Why do I keep saving it? Because I don't want to lose any of my work that I've put into making this post look better. That's what I wanted to get to. Let's move into the summary for the plugin. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned how to use, you can use the Yoast Duplicate Post plugin to save time and headaches when editing blog pages. It's to help you make blog pages more often and to make more of them so you don't have to be concerned about messing up your site while you're adding content or expanding out existing posts, updating them, which Google loves. So if you got some value from this video today, please give me a large thumbs up. Like the video. Also, leave any comments you have about any experiences you've had with 
the Yoast plugins, anything good or bad about them. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Also, reach out and hit the bell icon. Tap it a couple times firmly so you get notified every time we have a new video published to our channel. Thanks for watching today. And while you're at it, don't forget, there's always a link down in the description for some suggested free training. I'm su suggesting it and recommending it highly. It's the starter training I use to start building my business. It's there available for you today. Take advantage of that. Get access today. Click the link down in the description to get make it access to that free training. Thank you for watching today and so long.